Alright, so this is relatively similar to the inside of the average computer. So you're going to be installing a graphics card like this newly refurbished one I have up there. So, got these small uh, PCI Express slots, the 16 times PCI Express slots, and maybe these legacy PCI slots at the bottom. You're going to want to install the graphics card in the topmost slot. So, I've already got the slot blanks for this I need removed, but... Here's how to remove a slot blank. You just unscrew. You need to remove the slot cover before you insert the card into the slot. So you've got an empty hole like right there. So you just unscrew the one screw on the slot blank. You might want to put your finger on the other side like this. Just push it loose and it comes right loose. And then just save the slot blank somewhere so you don't lose it in case you need to take the card out because you want all these blanks in. The computer, you just slide the bottom in first, like that, and then it sits and replace the screw. So, imagine that you've removed your slot blank and you're ready to insert the target card. card. Make sure you've got the right kind of slot 16x PCI. This card does not require any external power connector. You take it, they always go in upside down, board up. The connectors in the back, line it up with the slot, and line it up with the slot blank in the back. Line it up with this connector, push it in, and it should click into place, provided it doesn't get caught on anything. So now the card isn't seated, so I gotta push harder, and then it clicked in. So in order to remove the PCI card later, you hold down this little lever to disengage the clasp on the card. This is almost impossible to do with two hands, but it will disengage the card if you do that. So we push it back in again, the slot blank needs to fuck off. You might have to remove another slot blank to get the top, the slot blank you want to be removed. If you have to do that, screw in your new card before you screw the slot blanks back in. So you've got your card screwed in, your machine screw in, and screwed the card in. You would normally replace your slot blanks. I'm not leaving this card in permanently, so I'm not going to replace the card blanks or put the cover on. But putting the cover on is really fucking easy. So now we go around the front try to spin the machine over. Check and make sure the fan on the card is spinning, which this one is. Let's see if the computer posts. We've got the card installed and the monitor plugged in. If the machine spins over, you should boot into Windows. Gotta install your drivers. All right, now that this thing has had the time to boot up, and since it's going to, since this card has been refurbished to go to someone, I'm gonna put it through a few paces by running a few games. Let's try Skyrim. So we'll do play. Let it detect the graphics. I don't think got registered. There we go. Okay. So Skyrim redetected my video settings and set it to Ultra. So I know that the person that owns this card has a 1600 by 900 monitor. I'm pretty sure I don't have any graphically based mods on here. This is going to be interesting to try to show with one hand. So we've got Skyrim here. It's running on ultra settings at 1600 by 900. Why not? What the fuck am I? I have no idea where I am. Let's go outside. Apparently I pissed someone off. These load times notwithstanding. Did it just crash? Oh. This is a pretty mid-range GP. Where the fuck am I? Yeah, well, you get a little lag spike when the uh, 
when it's loading. So I'm going to load a different area so I don't know where the hell we are. There we go. There's a nice populace. I'm still trying. What the fuck? I don't think I was playing this safe because I don't have a penchant for going on weird killing rampages like this. Well, there's a few chugs on the default ultra settings, but it's pretty decent. It's good enough frame rate, certainly. Certainly better than like an Xbox. Okay. Oh, alright. Stupid. Alright. Alright, so I was told that they had trouble running Warframes. Let's try Warframe. This is going to be running at 1080p, though, I think. Alright, so I got I got my login bonus. So let's check the settings here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and try putting them all on high. High anti aliasing, okay. Alright, so yeah, Warframe works fine on high, so this is Warframe on high with anti aliasing on high. Uh, make the one if I can uh, get lots of nice bloom. This game is really well optimized, it runs well on about anything. I don't think I'm gonna join a level though because I won't be able to finish it, but that's a quick example. <laughs> 